Hello, 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 everybody. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the Unplugged Nation, all of you guys. Well, today is something completely different. All right, this is something, it's just, I saw it in like one of my recommended searches while I was doing the, um, like I was just searching stuff on the internet, you know, how we go on rabbit holes and stuff. And there's a massive blob of seaweed coming to the U.S. It's on its way. And I looked into it a little bit further, and you guys will never guess what it's called. Okay? So here we go. <laughs> a sargasm is coming, guys. Massive. Biggest sargasm. Second biggest sargasm ever. Headed right to Florida. Florida it's already in Mexico. This thing, okay, for for just for just sheer size comparison, right? Okay, this thing is five thousand. Well, let me. I have the article pulled up right here. It's a five thousand mile seaweed belt lurking in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's floating towards Florida, the west side of Florida, I think. But it's it's already in. Let's see. In the next few months, it's going to wash onto beaches in the Caribbean Sea, South Florida, and the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Guys, <clears throat> this is insane. One, the fact that someone could get away with calling it a sargasm is hilarious because the news reporters are like, there's a massive sargasm heading to heading towards Florida. And this, like, you know, it's, there's no, it's not a laughing matter because it's going to make the beaches inhospitable. If you guys see the images of this stuff, oh my God, it's mountains of, of like putrefied seaweed. Okay. It, it's this, it's a disgusting. It's going to render the beaches during spring break not even usable. It's known like the stench is going to cause like respiratory problems, probably. And it's going to smell so terrible. And it's what what they say. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> it's going to. How do I? It's going to smell like rotten eggs. The prime spring break vacation spot is going to smell like rotten eggs for probably months after this they move this stuff with massive bulldozers to try to get it out and they're not even making a dent okay i i, I don't know how it just snuck up but it came right from like the right from africa and like northern africa kind of thing just kind of just slid past on the in the atlantic ocean this massive trail of seaweed and it's completely engulfing Cuba on its way up here. Oh my God, guys. The pictures. Let me see. Let me see if I can share a picture. Let me see if I can share a picture real quick. You know, because you know, this is this is our podcast. This is uh, how about this? Let's organize this a little bit, right? <laughs> sargasm watch. <laughs> All right. What is a sargasm? guys. It is a leafy brown seaweed festooned with what look like berries. The seaweed floats on the in, uh, floats on the open ocean and unlike other seaweeds, reproduces on the water surface, helped by air-filled structures that give it buoyancy. Okay. Um, here we go. It is a it is a habitat for fish. Uh, sea turtles, marine birds. So it's its its own floating aquarium. <laughs> so we're getting attacked by Aquaman's shit, basically, guys. Um, okay, so why is it a problem? All right, so sargasm piles up on beaches where it quickly decomposes under hot sun, releasing gases that smell like rotten eggs. So here we go. And, and this is going to affect so many 
industries, if you think about it, no one's going to go want to go to a tropical beach that smells like rotten eggs. People that have planned and people that have planned trips last year, right, to go to these places are going to be in a world of hurt. And I, I feel so bad for them, but it's going to essentially close down the, the seaside vacation industry on a vacation spot. So it's it's going to have massive repercussions um, financially for these pla- for the places, the seaside towns that thrive right now. Like during spring break, they make all their money right now. And this act of God is, is basically vomiting up from, from its <clears throat> inner depths of its Atlantic stomach, this bile on our beaches. And the fact that it is called a sargasm. Let me just sargasm. Hilarious to say. No laughing matter. But the fact that the scientist is like sargasm. No one's like, bro, that's why. Why would you do that? Why would you? It's not, shouldn't we call it a sargasm? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And some of these news reporters, some of these news reporters that are talking about it, massive sargasm, guys. Massive sargasm. One of the that one of the biggest that ever washed up. So Florida is going to be covered. It's going to be one big, massive sargasm fest down there in Florida. <clears throat> it's a, it's a, uh, so there's scientists estimate that there's more than 10 million metric tons of sargasm in the belt this year. Words that I never thought I would ever be called dead saying. <laughs> Bro, there's so much sargasm in the belt this year. <laughs> I can't say it. It's ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And there's going to be so much stuff coming on the ends of this. There's going to be like Karens out there with their gemstones and trying to get essential oils, sargasm, <laughs> essential oils. There's going to be people trying to eat it and fitness gurus. Like, did you know that the extract from sargasm? <laughs> I'm not going to go there, but it's, you know, it's going to go there. All these nuts, all these nut cases. I'm like, well, sargasm is great use for this. And I was like, oh my God. <sighs> so <clears throat> is sargasm, well, this is what you need to know, guys. This is what you need to know about sargasm. Okay. Real talk. Is it harmful to human health? Well, it can be, according to this article that's on APnews.com. It can be when sargasm, when when sargasm decomposes, it releases ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, which accounts for the rotten egg stench. Brief exposure isn't enough to make people sick, but prolonged exposure, especially for those with respiratory issues, can be dangerous. So great, great. We have poisonous rotten egg grass washing up, and it's not like a little bit. Let me see if I can. You know, that's that's kind of like the end of that article. But let me let me see if I can pull some stuff up real quick. Let me just go back to sargasm because, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's all about that. It's all about sargasm. Oh, my God. Where is it? I want an aerial shot. Where's the aerial shot? Where is the? Like, they just show. Let me see. They just show a little bit of it. They don't show the the amount. They don't show the amount of sargasm. All right. (laughs) Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, here it is. Sargasm in the Caribbean. Let me let me pull that up. Let me see if I can share the screen. I might be it might be freezing. I don't know what's going on, but let me let me try to share the screen. Here we go. Let's go share the screen. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on, let me pull that up. Nope. Scarf for the beach. Why? We're just wading through mountains of sargasm. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, so they got pros. They got pros on this thing, man. Um, these guys, these guys, these guys are are out there, you know, really, really giving it a hundred percent. Um someone's got someone's got to someone's got to be talking about this it's sargasm guys you know it's sargasm it's just 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 just, 
you know, I know it's terrible. I know it's going to affect the lives of millions. I know it's no laughing matter. But the fact that there's someone out there that just straight named it sargasm and everyone was like, yeah, no, you know what? Mm, sargasm. It's like uh, a sarcastic orgasm. Like a sargasm. <laughs> like, don't run with that. The seaweed bloom isn't much better. Um not too frightening. Not, I mean, seaweed bloom. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Seaweed bloom? Mm, sargasm for the win. For the win. The U.S. is about to be covered in sargasm. The coastline, at least. I got to tell my dad. I got to tell my dad. He lives down there on the Gulf Coast of Florida. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, pops. Get out there on the beach with your binoculars. Let me know when you see some sargasm. But, like, it's crazy. Like, the seabirds and stuff are walking on this stuff. That's how thick it is. It's not like this algae that you, or, or, or seaweed that you think is just, like, floating from the bottom up. No, it's like a carpet. It's like a carpet of sargasm, which smells like rotten eggs. It, it, this is going to end up being the main story. You know, we're going to see how it, it, it pairs with the... <laughs> It's going to pair with the some sort of new variant of whatever it is out there. And it's going to, you know, you know how it goes. You know how the media is going to spin it. You know how it's going to happen. You know, there's going to, it's going to be on a political platform in no time. They're going to be running on sargasm all day. Like, this is my politician. Why he's going to deal with the sargasm problem. <laughs> I just love the idea of, of the Atlantic Ocean just belching up the stench on our, on our beaches like and and people are like oh my god this is terrible like, no it it happens it's a natural event it's not like some spiteful sargasm heading our way just to smite our spring break anyway guys this was a fun one all right and this was this was i needed this i i, I told i keep telling you guys over on Aries in the nation and i want to tell you guys here on spotify and on this platform um Whenever I'm in the office, whenever I'm doing stuff dedicated to the channel or creating content, I will always jump on. I will always give you guys something um, immediately as fast as I can. Let's see if this uploads. Last time, last time I had a lot of issues uploading that past interview I had with our good friend King Boomer. Anyway, I want to put this whole thing up on YouTube. F it. And also for those listening, listening on the podcast platforms. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great night and I hope you have an amazing morning. Uh, guys, make sure you unplug and do something legendary, guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Much love and thanks for listening. Bye.